Hey, um, my name is Red Osmond from Osmond Produce, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a Freddy W style muzzle flash. Now, I know Freddy himself did a tutorial on this. Wait, did I just say muzzle flash? Pfft, stupid me. I meant to say blood hit. Now, I know Freddy himself did a whole tutorial on this, but the tutorial didn't really show what he did. He pretty much just showed the layers that he added. Oh, and he showed you how to motion track, but I guess that's a plus. Alright, so here's what I'm going to be showing you how to make. Yeah, so, pretty cool. So, let's get going. Oh, also, you will need Action Essentials 2 for this. And I am going to include a link to, if you want to buy it, you, you can go and do that like a square or if you don't have the money I will include a um a link to a torrent where you can download it for free but you will need a torrent opener to do that so if you're gonna do it that way make sure you have a torrent opener okay so now let's get started now first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna bring in a blood hit which will pull the whole thing together. I like adding it first because it's it's the hardest thing to do, so I like adding it first. I believe this shot comes from an AK, so I'm gonna make it make it large enough that you can see the thing, but not large enough that it's just insanely large. So, now what I'm going to do is, you can do this with any, with anything, what I'm going to do is I'm using a piece, something on a shirt as a reference. Now I'm going to use this, which means all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on top of it. You'll get a much more accurate looking thing if you do it like this. It won't look like it's kind of jumping around on his chest. It'll look like it's staying there the whole time. You can also do it on the eye, the nose, whatever you want, but I'm going to put it on here. So, what you're going to do is, oh, make sure that you have auto keyframing on. It's important. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go, is you're just going to go frame by frame adjusting this. Sorry, I was just turning my TV off. Don't want that to get in the way of the recording could really mess the whole thing up. Now as he starts turning his body, you're going to have to kind of flatten this to make it look like it's turning with his body. And rotate that. And I could do this as a 3D thing, but I think it's easier just doing it this way. I really want to figure out how to do. This really has nothing to do with the tutorial, but like just thought of this. Oh, if you've seen Brain Dead, there is a scene where he pulls a dog's leg out of his zombie mother's mouth, and like he pulls like the whole leg out of her mouth. I really want to learn how they did that. There's quite a few things I want to learn how they did from that. Like, for example, there's a part where this guy punches this woman in the mouth and his arm goes through her mouth. And then he grabs another guy and pulls that guy's face off. It's a really gory movie. It's an awesome movie. If you've ever seen The Lord of the Rings, the guy who wrote and directed those movies wrote and directed that movie. It's really cool. If you're a fan of zombie movies, I'd suggest checking it out. I think I might add a link to that too. I'm gonna link this some bitch up. 
Okay. So now you're going to add your blood hit. Now you're going to want to scale this down quite a bit. Oh, wait. I just realized. I did not. I have not showed you what this looks like. Okay, so this is what it's what we just did, the bullet hole thing. This is what it looks like. Impressive. Oh, yeah. Make sure you have motion blur on that. Uh, if you don't have motion blur on that, it'll completely fuck the whole thing up. Here it is without motion blur. Now here it is with motion blur. Can see the difference. Now this is the easiest part of the whole thing. Pretty much all is the blood heat. All you have to do is just put it on. Now here it is with just blood hitting it. The blood hit. That's impressive enough as it is. A lot of people think it's okay just to put blood on. The whole thing looks much, much better when you add that. Now, what I like to do is I like to do this. Parent. Oh, not to that. Parent this to the blood hit. This way the blood... Oh, I need a motion blur for that as well. This way the blood kind of follows this thing. I think it makes the whole thing look cool and more realistic. But if you're going for the whole Freddy you look, you're going to want to. You're not going to want to parent that to anything. So it just hangs in the air. And now for the infamous Freddy you. Bloody mist. Scale that down a bit. Not too much though. You want, to, you want it to be really big. In fact, you might actually want to scale it up a bit for the whole Freddy U effect. Okay, now what you're gonna do, you want a tint. You're gonna take map white to, you're gonna go to red. And now this is how that looks. Now if you wanna get even more fancy, could take down that again, put that under that one, bring the size down, rotate it just a tad bit, and now it looks like there's smoke in there, which is what you would get if this was actually there. That looks pretty good, but eh, not the greatest looking thing in the world. Actually, like that bit smaller. I know Freddy U does this, so if you go and try to make it as as Freddy Wong as possible, that's what you do. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Well, you should subscribe, and if you do, thank you. Now to see this in the context of the final video, you should check it out. You should subscribe so you can see the video when it's uploaded. And also like this, share it, if you, if you want to, even favorite it in case you have to go back to it so that you can find it right away. So, yeah. This is my tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.